Okay, tutorial chapter 11, question 5. Okay, uh, in this question, uh, you are given the balance for assets and also liabilities. Okay, this is your... Sorry. Okay, uh, this is your beginning asset and liabilities and this is your ending asset and liabilities. Okay, as you can see in these questions, you are only given the balance for assets and liabilities. And then you only have the additional informations. Okay, so dalam soalan ni, you all tak ada maklumat cash flow. That is your cash books. Right? So, if you don't have the information for your cash flows, that means kita tak boleh sediakan uh, statements using analysis method. So, kita akan guna capital comparison. Okay. So, here you need to calculate the opening capital. And then you will prepare the profit or loss statement using the capital comparison method. And then we will do the statement for financial position as well. Okay? Alright. So, in your balance here, this is your assets. Assets. Asset. Your assets. This is your liabilities. Your assets. And this is actually your liabilities. Okay? And this one is your assets. So, these two expenses... Uh... Uh... This one will be uh, listed out in your financial position. Okay. Alright. We go through the calculations for the opening capital. Okay. So, untuk opening capital, kita senaraikan van, shop fittings, inventories, accounts receivable, cash, and also prepaid rental. Okay. This one is taken from the beginning balance. Okay. So, your to total for your assets is 11,790. And this is the balance, uh, sorry, this is the beginning balance for your liabilities. So, totals for liabilities is 430. So, your opening capital is 11,360. Alright. Okay. So, this beginning capital will be used to calculate your profit or loss in the comprehensive income statement. Okay. Alright. So, to prepare your profit or loss uh, statement, okay, just now you calculated the beginning capital. So, now we need to calculate the ending. Okay, ataupun some question, they call it as closing capital. Alright, calculations must be shown. It's either in the form of table, macam ni. Ataupun you can calculate outside of the table But you must remember Your calculations untuk capital Okay You don't simply buat ayat matematik like 5,400 plus 2,250 plus 260 Okay Because in accounting Every values must come together with the items So this is actually the best way to calculate your capital or else your marks will be deducted okay so you need to show me how you calculate your closing capital so this is your ending asset okay okay we go back to the question okay you can see here uh, beginning is 6000 okay ending is 5400 for the non-current asset Okay, so the difference is actually your depreciation expense for the year. Okay, so let's see if the question give you the same amount for beginning and also ending. Contoh, when dia bagi enam ribu dekat sini, and then ending also dia bagi enam ribu. So when you calculate your ending capital, you cannot use the figure six thousand. You can minus dulu dengan and uh, depreciation expense for the year. Baru kita boleh masukkan dalam pengiraan ending capital Okay Sebab you must remember this is incomplete record Single entry 
So dia tak tunjuk cara peniraan depreciation Okay But you need to minus That means your asset Dia akan uh, decrease every time Because we deducted the depreciation expense Alright So in this question We just take straight from the uh, quest, uh, the answer uh, The question Okay this is the calculations for your liabilities Okay, so your ending capital is 9,620 Okay, dalam additional information You have withdrawals Okay, this is cash withdrawals And this is your uh, Merchandise uh, drawings Okay, and then you have additional capital as well Okay, so what you need to do is Kita akan ambil komponen A which is your ending capital plus your drawings and then we'll take component B which is your opening capital the one you calculated earlier and then you add up the amount of the additional capital 500 ringgit so kita dapat total untuk component B so component A minus component B you'll get your answer here okay so, since the answer given there is already lost, so your answer shouldn't be in a bracket. Lah, okay? Unless here we put it as net profit. Okay? So, if it's net, net profit here, so your answer should be in bracket. Alright? That's the way you answer your profit or loss statement okay so tajuk macam biasa you must remember you have the name of the co uh, company and then profit or loss statement for the year ended 30th june 2013 okay next we go to your statement of financial position okay all right so we'll take the ending balance okay any your total assets Okay, since the amount is already deducted with your accumulated depreciation, okay, yang ni dia dah tolak siap-siap dengan accumulated depreciation, so you don't need to show inside your financial position. Unless it's not given, then you need to minus your accumulated depreciation, just like what we did earlier in the previous chapters, okay. And then you have your short, uh, short fittings, and then we list out our current asset, Okay, so the total asset is 10,080 ringgit. Okay, we go to your owner's equity. So opening capital, kita kira tadi 11,360 plus additional capital. Okay, bercampur-campur, cakap Melayu, cakap orang putih. Okay. Alright, additional capital 500 ringgit. And then, uh, if you get net profit, you will add up to the value tapi since we got our uh, profit or loss study we got our loss so we will minus lah. Okay, this item will be deducted and then we will minus our drawing as well 150 ok so here your ending capital is 9620 ok as for your current liabilities you have your accounts payable and your wages payable so that brings up to the total as uh, at your asset 10,000 in 80 ringgit ok alright that is for question 5 ok for question 6 ok you ada baki untuk asset Alright, but you don't have the ending balance for your cash. This one you need to calculate later. Alright, okay. So, ini baki asset dan liability beginning and this is the ending. Okay, be careful with the years. Alright, so this is asset, 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 liabilities. Okay, this two is non-current asset. Okay, and this one is your liabilities, your liabilities and this one is your asset. Okay. Alright, and as you can see here, you are given the balance, uh, you are given the cash book for the year ended. Okay, since we have the balance for our assets and liabilities, and we also have the cash book with us, so in order to prepare the financial statement, 
we will be using the analysis method ok sebab maklumat dia ada dan sufficient for you to prepare a full analysis method statement alright ok so here kamu nampak dekat sini this is your AR and then your commissions and your sales ok and then here you have your payments alright ok so Puan Joyce receive discount and allowances of 540 from suppliers and has given 760 discount to customers ok so this is actually purchase discount alright and this is actually sales discount ok so there is no cash there is it ok it will be deducted straight from the sales or the purchase ok and then number 2 goods costing 400 ringgit, uh, 410 was written alright so this is sales returns and allowances ok and this one is sorry uh, this is sorry this is purchase returns ok because you return to the supplier alright and then when the customer return goods to you this is your sales returns and allowances ok so annual rent is 7200 ok so as you can see in the question the payment made was 7800 tapi dia mention dalam additional uh, additional information the actual rent is only 7200 so that means you are paying more ok ada extra 600 dekat situ so that means 600 is for next year that will be your prepaid rental ok alright this is bad debt expense ok and ni ialah drawings ok so dia take inventories this will be your merchandise drawings ok so you need to prepare the profit or loss and then the financial statement uh, uh, financial position statement ok so this is analysis method so you go step by step you need to find the sales and then the purchases alright and then we'll do adjustments on your expenses and also your revenues so you go step by step ok the first thing I need to do is find my sales so saya buat adjustment the accounts receivable ok so ini balance awal ambil dari soalan alright and ni balance akhir pun ambil dari soalan ok alright bad debt expense yang ini is your additional information number 4 alright and then sales return is additional information number 2 sales discount is actually your additional information number 1 ok and cash ni the amount is taken from your cash book 44,700 ringgit this one ok Alright, so this amount here kita jumlahkan dulu sebelah kredit. Okay, so we'll get seven fifty seven nine one zero. So this is fifty seven nine one zero as well. So the missing amount is actually your credit sales. So credit sales empat puluh empat ribu tiga ratus ringgit. Okay, you go back to your cash book. Tengok dekat sini. Alright, awak ada sales. Yang ni ialah cash sales. 11100. So total sales saya ialah yang saya kira dekat sini. Campur cash sale 11100. So total sell, sales is 55,400 ringgit. Okay. Alright. So sales done. Ok, so we go to your purchases So adjustment buat the accounts payable Baki awal, 
this is liability eh? so baki awal sebelah kredit ok baki awal is 6580 baki akhir ambil dari soalan ok purchase returns is maklumat tambahan additional information number 2 purchase discount is additional information number 1 and this cash here is from your cash book ok your cash book here purchases so this amount is your cash purchase so cash purchase is two sorry uh, 26,300 ringgit jadi kita total up sebelah debit dulu so we come with the amount of 33,560 so sebelah sini pun mesti 33,560 ok so you already put the balance beginning balance earlier so the missing amount awak kena cari is actually your purchase 26,980 so ini 26,980 and then you go back to your cash book ok Sorry, uh, just now I am supposed to take this amount. Okay, alright. So now here, this is actually your cash purchase. Okay, yang ni yang masuk mula-mula tadi dalam accounts payable. Alright, so 5770 is your cash purchase. Okay, so 26 kita kira kat sini tadi. Campur 5770. So kita dapat 32750. Ok, so this is your purchases Satu Ok, alright uh, What item I need to do adjustments Ok, kalau tengok dekat sini I need to do adjustments for salaries payable Dan juga prepaid uh, insurance Ok, alright So untuk insurance ok sebab this is prepaid so dia a set baki awal kita ambil dari soalan is 160 ok and then baki akhir ialah 440 so 600 ni madam ambil dekat mana 600 is taken from your cash book ok so uh, sorry uh, 880 kita ambil 880 ni is payments right so this is cash payments 880 so in your uh, T account cash tu dia akan letak 880 dekat sini so the missing amount is actually this one 600 ringgit so yang ni yang kita nak cari so this will be your insurance expense ok kalau tak nak buat account T kita buat formula ok this is for your prepaid so prepaid kita akan ambil cash paid ok kita akan plus oh sorry uh, kita akan minus dengan CF kita akan plus dengan BF so that will be 880 minus 440 plus 160 so that comes back to the same amount 600 ringgit lah so ini ialah insurance ok so insurance done dah ada ok kenapa cari insurance expense sebab nak masukkan dalam income statement ok alright and then we go to salaries payable ok salaries payable baki awal ada 500. Okay, you go back to the question eh? You have baki awal For salaries Tapi baki akhir kosong kan Alright Okay, so for salaries Baki awal RM500 Okay, and then you go back to your Cash book Kalau tengok cash book dekat sini Ada cash paid for salaries 6900 Okay, so cash Ialah RM690 So kita tak ada CL CF is actually zero. Okay, so the amount that you need to calculate is six thousand four hundred. Okay, kalau saya guna formula for payable, alright, dia akan jadi cash paid. Okay, 
plus baki cf minus baki bf so this will be 6900 plus 0 minus 500 so you akan dapat sama lah 6400 so this is your salaries expense ok so salaries is done ok alright so sekarang apa expenses yang ada dalam income statement ok so kalau you tengok dekat sini you ada satu revenue ok so your expenses ialah rental salaries ok general expense lepas tu interest dan insurance ok insurance kita dah buat pelarasan salaries also kita dah buat pelarasan ok rental kita bayar RM7,800 tapi dalam uh, uh, additional information dia bagi tahu actually RM7,200 saja. so that means untuk rental ok you bayar RM7,800 tapi RM7,600 is your expenses ok uh, sorry RM7,200 is your expenses Right, so another 600 is actually your prepaid rental so ini akan masuk dekat income statement as expenses yang ini akan masuk di financial position as asset ok alright and then what other expenses you have ok uh, interest ambil saja sebab kita tak ada baki awal baki akhir di senara asset and then uh, you have non current asset kan shop equipment dan juga van ok so you tengok dekat sini beginning dia 36,000 ending dia 32,400 so beza dia is actually your depreciation expense ok so beza kat sini 3,600 is actually depreciation expense dan bila dia pergi dekat financial position dia akan jadi accumulated depreciation ok, cuma untuk shop equipment madam tak boleh terus tolak sebab you tengok beza kan yang ni mula-mula kecil je nombor dia asalnya 720 7200 uh, tiba-tiba ending 7600 sepatutnya dia kurang kenapa dia lebih? ok, you tengok balik dalam soalan ada satu item dekat sini shop equipment 800 that means dia ada beli equipment tambahan so kita kena buat pelarasan ok so asset you asalnya 7200 and then you tambah lagi beli that means dia tambah 800 so actually asset kamu total dia sebenarnya ialah 8000 ok towards the end your CF this is your CF so CF kita kita dapat ialah 7,600 so maknanya ada beza beza 400 dekat situ so 400 ni is actually your depreciation expense ok so you have two depreciation expense untuk non-current asset lepas tu ada insurance ada rental ada salaries, general expenses and then interest ok uh, and one more here you are the bad debt tadi kan so this will be your bad debt expense ok alright so yang ni kalau you tak buat pun tak apa so this is just to show how we get our depreciation expense ok kalau you ikut cara madam kira tadi pun ok juga alright ok so nak buat income statement uh, kena kira dulu opening capital so this is your opening capital 49,300 macam biasa campur sahaja ok alright uh, lepas tu tadi in the question kita kena cari baki cash kan ok sebab cash kat sini tak diberi you ada baki awal this is BF and then you ada receipt and then you ada payments so receipt ni you total up ok so 44700 plus 400 plus 11100 
So your payments is actually uh, sorry your receipt is actually fifty six thousand two hundred. Okay, uh, payments ni pun awak total up. Okay, so you tengok kat sini. How much is your cash balance? Ini baki awal BF. Campur dengan kita punya total receipt tadi fifty six thousand two hundred from the cash book, and then you total up sebelah credit tadi is fifty seven thousand nine hundred and seventy. So kita dapat cash balance this is CF ya four hundred twenty. Okay, alright. So your cash balance. Uh, yang ni kita akan senaraikan di financial position. Okay, so sekarang kita sediakan profit or loss statement. Sales kita kira tadi tolak ala uh, returns and then tolak the sales discount. You get your net sales. Lepas tu this is your beginning inventory. Tolak purchase and then tolak discount and tolak returns. Okay, alright. And for incomplete records, di bahagian COGS ni ada additional item which is your merchandise drawings only in chapter 11. Okay, dalam chapter lain, merchandise drawings tak ada dalam income statement sebab yang ni dah tolak siap-siap di purchase semasa kita buat ambilan. Tapi since this is single entry, that means dia cuma catat di drawing sahaja tapi dia cat, tak catat di purchase so your purchase here is actually termasuk dengan drawings yang dia dah ambil tapi dia tak betulkan so we need to do the adjustment here alright okay, macam mana saya dapat 4800 you go back to the additional information dia kata has taken 400 ringgit per month untuk kegunaan keluarga so setiap tahun dia ambil 12 kali lah so times 400 that's where you get 4,800 ringgit ok so this is your drawings so kita dapat our gross profit 28,290 ok plus revenue commission madam ambil daripada cash book tadi 400 ringgit so dapat total for your profit and then kita akan minus expenses ok kita tengok expenses eh. insurance kita buat adjustment tadi 600 salaries kita buat adjustment 600 shop equipment saya adjust tadi which is actually 7,600 uh, 7,000 uh, come back to the question okay. uh, 7,200 So this is actually seven thousand two hundred plus eight hundred ringgit minus seven thousand six hundred. Sebab tu awak dapat ringgit. Okay, yang ni straight from the question sebab dia tak ada beli tambahan general expense pun ambil terus dari cash book bad debt expense from your in additional information rent expense tadi kita bayar 7800 tapi the actual cuma 7200 saja kan so 7200 ni catat di sini okey balance 600 nanti saya akan masukkan dalam financial position interest expense ambil terus dari cash book okey Alright, so kita punya net profit 8,340 Okay, as for statement of financial position So kita take the balance Okay, you don't need to show, uh, to show the uh, accumulated depreciation eh? Okay, so inventories, cash, kita kira tadi Okay, and then accounts receivable 11,900 Okay, so you tengok dekat sini uh, Your receivable is 11,900 kan Okay 
So kita ambil 11,900 ringgit. Okay. And then you have your prepaid insurance. Lepas tu you ada your prepaid rental. Okay. And then uh, your owner's equity. Tadi kita kira opening balance. Campur profit. Tolak drawings. Kita dapat 51,270. Okay. And then you have your bank loan 6,000. Lepas tu you ada your accounts payable 6310. So yang ni ialah 63,580 So this is for Question 6